The partnership said that a careful examination of the unemployment rate in the country, which was tabulated by the International Labour Organization, the ILO, revealed that about 44% of the population of working age are not economically active. The party said that the report also explained that young people suffer the most. And it's against this backdrop that APNU wants the construction of permanent agriculture institutes and technical education facilities in each region. Opposition leader David Granger said that young people, particularly in rural communities, need gainful employment. There is an unemployment problem. All of us know people who are qualified and are underemployed. Some of them are conducting minibuses. Some of them are, are selling pizza at um, restaurants. And many of them have C, um, CSEC uh, qualifications, but they can't get jobs. The result is that although we need engineers, we need people who can build proper roads, we need technicians, we need um, uh, farmers and, and uh, agriculturists, but because of, the, because of the fact that there are no advanced training opportunities for them or there are no employment opportunities, these people are unemployed. The government says that Guyana has an unemployment rate between 11 to 12.5 percent and that the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture and the Ministry of Education have several youth development programs geared at providing life skills to participants. But the opposition MP with responsibilities for youth development, Christopher Jones, said the government's approach towards youth development is not bearing fruit. Is that we have, you had a situation in which young people that came out from riverine community like Hobadai, Hotakwai, Region 1 and so forth, and they came to these training institutions in Georgetown or Region 4. They were trained whether to be auto mechanics and mason and so forth. They're certified. When they go back to those regions, there are no jobs that their qualification can meet. That is why by having these institutions being regional specific, then you train them in areas that are specific to that region. For example, again, Region 6, you note that the government, we are now doing oil exploration. Is there any training for young people in that community, in that region, that should we find oil, that they can then take up these jobs that will be created as a result of that? The party insists that the ruling People's Progressive Party civic government, despite being aware of the facts regarding unemployment situation in the country, continues to pay scant regards to dealing with this important development issue.